Today is the liturgy focuses on <coughs> the Old Testament and the new period of grace, the fulfillment of the law. In the Old Testament, the reading, we see where the two men who, who had tried to frame Susanna and claim that she did something wrong and she had done nothing wrong, and they lied, and they, they passed judgment on her, and the penalty for committing adultery would be that she would um, have to be stoned to death. That's what the law said. And they were found out, and that they had committed perjury, and as a result of the, the old law, if they lied about something and they were caught in perjury, they had to suffer the consequence of what the person would have had to suffer that they were accusing of wrongdoing. If they accused somebody of stealing $100, they would be guilty of stealing $100 and have to repay $100. But in the charge of adultery, the penalty was death. So Susanna was saved by Daniel, and they ended up being persecuted and, and put to death because, because of their perjury, that's what they had to suffer. Jesus has the woman caught in adultery. They bring him to him to see if they can trap him under that same old law. And Jesus knew the law, and so he couldn't just dismiss as if it didn't matter. And the law, with all of its faults and failings, it couldn't save us, but it did keep us from chaos. You know, you look at the evening news at night, and when all these different countries are falling apart, and even though law may have been bad at one point in their countries, chaos is worse. And so Jesus respected the law, but he comes for a whole new age. That is forgiveness and reconciliation to forgive and lift people up and by God's grace to bring them to a new life. The past <coughs> week, we had a wonderful mission in our, our collaborative at St. Anselm's, Our Lady of Fatima, and St. Bridget's and, and made it. A wonderful, wonderful thing. Mother, Tr Mother Olga uh, put on this retreat, this mission. Our churches were filled each night. It amazed me. Um, and the last night we had all kinds of people, a couple hundred people had come to confession. We had nine priests hearing confessions. It was really an amazing thing. I wish you could meet Mother Olga. Uh, she's a very short lady. I'm not kidding. I'm small, but I had to bend over to hear what she was saying because I don't hear well. Uh, but she had this wonderful smile, this wonderful presence. And uh, when I looked at her and I saw her, it was like when I met Mother Teresa of Calcutta in Newton. You could feel the presence of God in her. And she talked about God's love, God's mercy, how much he forgives us and brings us to a new life. And I just couldn't get over, and the people were just mesmerized by her. I hope you have a chance to meet this woman. Um, she is just, you can feel Christ in her presence, you can see Christ in his eyes, just like I felt in Mother Teresa of Calcutta's um, presence in her eyes the same way. And the whole message that she brought was that of, of Mother Teresa as well, that God loves us all, and God lifts us up, and God gives us hope and peace and joy. And that's what we're celebrating in the Lenten and Easter season that Jesus brings us to a new life, the law passes, the life of grace comes into a new being. And God, who wishes to forgive us and heal us and bring us to a better space, all that grace is unleashed from the cross and the resurrection. And may you and I, as we go through the final stage of Lent and the joy of Easter, come to know the forgiveness and love of God that Mother Olga brings wherever she goes.